Hello everyone. In today's video I show you how to use colors in rows and columns in a solve table. Colors can be used to highlight certain properties of data such as when a deadline has expired or an amount has been exceeded. The employee can then see a glance which data records he has to edit. In my example today, I use the table S flight and we have to declare some variables, uh, a type, and I write here types, begin of, tie S flight, and here I include the structure of the database table S flight, include structure. S flight. Next, I need another type, the type of my color column. So I write here types color type LVCTS col. And then end of tie as flight. So now I have created a type with uh, the structure of the table as flight and a color table, a uh, color column. Next, I declare the internal table LT as flight, and this is type table of tie as flight. Okay, next we get some data from the table. So I write here select star from S flight into corresponding fields of table LT S flight. So next, um, I want to color, I want to mark some records. And let's have a look uh, on the table. This is the table S flight. And now I want to color all records with the price greater than 1000. And for this, we do a loop over the internal table, loop at LTS flight, assigning field symbol F, and here I make the if field symbol F price greater than 1000, then I set some values in the color table. So I write here f color equals value hashtag and I write here color minus col is six color minus int is zero and color minus inv is one. So I close this. So what that means I show you with a color table. But first I close the if and the loop. So now let's have a look uh, on this table here. Um, I paste this link in the description of the video. But here we see what I, uh, uh, the different uh, 
columns and uh, options. First, I use the number six for the red color, then intensified off and inverse on. So that means that my uh, records should be look like this. And so let's go on. Next, I want to uh, show these records with uh, a solve table and for this I uh, use uh, a code template because I often need these solve templates. So I write here solve, then I have to type in here my table name, the name of the internal table, LTS flight. And now I have the whole code of my SARF table. And if you want to know how to uh, create some code templates, I will link this video uh, above right. So let's uh, delete this. And this is now my SARF table code. And the next step is to set the uh, color column and so I write O underscore solve get columns then set color column and the name of my color column is color. Because we declared this type here, this is the name of my color table. And so the SARF table knows where the color information is stored. Okay, so let's pretty print the code and activate and run the code and now we see all records greater than 1000 are red. Yes, so that works. And next uh, I will do set, uh, I will set the color to a column and so I write here data o cal is cast cl solve column table then o solve get columns And then get column and here I type the name of my column where I want to set the color so I write here price and and in the next line I set the color. So I write here O col set color value hashtag and I use the color green here for the column. So I set the color 5, int 0, and inf 0, 2. So let's activate the code and run it. And now we see the column price has the color green. Okay. 
Yes. With this code you can uh, mark uh, columns and records and lines with uh, uh, some different colors. So, that was it already. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. I would also be, be very happy about the channel subscription. Write me something in the comments. I'm always happy to read them. I hope to see you again in one of my next videos. Thank you and see you soon.